Hello, my name is Miguel Hernández and in this video I will talk about a few key concepts of the Digitally Competent Educational Organizations course organized by the INTEF. When you go to a hospital, it seems logical to expect that the medical professionals working there have all the technological resources they need for the diagnosis and treatment of illnesses and to know how to use them. And your mobile phone has already become an essential tool in your everyday life, both on a professional and on a personal level, due to the communication possibilities it offers, the multimedia production tools it has, and the access to information it provides. Could you imagine what our world would be like today if we turned off all technology? Could you think of all the things we wouldn't be able to do anymore? Some teaching and educational organizations do not use technology at all or make limited use of it for the different types of activities that take place here, including those strictly administrative and management activities, those related to the teaching and learning processes and to the professional development of their staff, or activities related to the communication the organization establishes with the educational community. Our educational organizations are part of a constantly changing world, and not only do they need to provide future professionals with different skills, but they also need to train citizens to engage actively and critically in the shaping of their personal and professional future as part of the local and global community. These citizens face the challenge of participating in learning professional communities, sharing the professional development and learning opportunities provided by the world we live in. Education is a key resource in ensuring social equality, people empowerment, and more generally, in improving the standard of living of communities and individuals. In the current setting, there's no doubt that our education and training systems need to be revised. That is why the Europe 2020 strategy recognizes the need to reshape the education and training systems in order to ensure the acquisition of digital competencies which will allow us to take advantage of all the opportunities that may arise and thus overcome the current economic crisis. Educational institutions need to revise their organizational strategies in order to enhance their capacity to promote innovation and to make the most of new technologies and digital contents. The Joint Research Center of the European Commission developed a framework for digitally competent educational organizations, also known as DigComp.org, whose purpose is to provide support to educational organizations so that they can systematically and strategically implement digital learning. The framework proposes seven key elements that are common to organizations from all educational sectors, and at the same time, it leaves the door open for the different organizations to add their own specific elements from their field. The DigComorg framework proposes a process of planning for change based on three basic dimensions. The pedag pedagogical dimension. This includes all aspects related to the teaching and learning practice, to the curricular contents, and to the assessment practices. The organizational dimension that includes leadership and governance practices, professional development and collaboration and networking. And three, the technological dimension, which refers to issues dealing with digital and physical infrastructures. We have structured the seven key elements proposed by the DICOM.org framework into two large unit blocks, linked to the first two dimensions we mentioned earlier. Due to its cross-cutting nature, we consider the technological dimension and the key element it refers to as a bridge between the first two dimensions. But before we go on to analyze each and every one of the elements in the DICOM or framework, I would like to share some ideas that together with the European framework itself will help us contextualize and give meaning to the work plan we propose in this course. <laughs> 